Howdy. Today we'd like to introduce part of our concealed carry training regimen. For us to carry confidently, we need to train. And we need to train consistently and regularly. For us to train consistently and regularly, it needs to be accessible, affordable, and honestly, it helps if it's a little bit of fun. As part of the training regimen, just a part of the training regimen, we've decided to use Airsoft. As you probably noted, ammunition prices have skyrocketed, that's when you can find it at all. We discovered that we could obtain a licensed Glock 19 replica, about 3,000 rounds of BBs, green gas to go along with it, eye protection, extra mag, holster, all for about the same price as 200 rounds of 9mm ammunition. You may be surprised to know that there are quite a few available options that directly mimic popular handguns from Glock 17 to Glock 19 to Walther P99 to H&K Compact to some variations of Smith & Wesson m &P. We decided to go with the Glock 19. This is an Elite Force licensed replica exactly the same dimensions as a real Glock 19, very similar weight and feel, similar magazine configuration. We went with the blowback to actually simulate the action of a live fire weapon. The trigger is very similar to an actual Glock 19. We want to come as close as possible to replicating our regular concealed carry weapon, holster, uh, extra magazine, Fortunately, a licensed replica, you can use potentially the concealed carry holster that you already have if you carry a Glock 19 or equivalent, Glock 27, 17, something along those lines. Even if you can't find a replica that's similar or exactly a licensed copy of what you carry, we still find and we still believe that the mechanics, the muscle memory that we are practicing has value from drawing from concealment to proper grip to sight alignment to sight picture to potentially tactical and emergency reloads. Uh, again, much more economical, effective, and with our target system, we can do it conveniently, safely, and without making a mess in the garage. Obviously, if you're going to shoot in the garage, you need to exercise some common sense. Don't shoot in front of a window. Don't shoot in front of your Lamborghini. We've actually gone through a fair amount of trial and error to come up with this specific iteration of our target. All right, airsoft backdrop test 37. Drop cloth. Do you really think this is gonna work? It'll work. Ah! What we have here is three quarter schedule 40 PVC. The pipes and all the fittings together were just under 15 bucks. The rest of it you can probably scrounge from around the house. Twin sheet. Old towel, piece of one by two, handful of clamps. We drape our sheet into the bin because we discovered initially without this that the BBs were stopped, but they scattered all over the garage. So this serves as a catch basin, uh, primarily just to keep from making a mess in the garage. In our next set of videos, we will cover some simple and practical concealed carry drills that you can do with Airsoft in your garage. In addition, you'll notice in the description of this video, there is a link to our website where we have a blog post that shares the specific products that we have chosen, along with a how-to article for building a target that will work in your garage. Thank you. That concludes this video. Hopefully we'll see you next time.